Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, one of the things that we'll know about Windows 11 is now it's um, the dates in 2024 that some of the things are going to appear. And also an interesting uh, little change that's going to happen in mid-June for uh, a new platform. We talked about the uh, Snap uh, Dragon uh, chip, ARM chip that is going to be groundbreaking uh, in speed and performance. So three things are going to actually happen towards um, in, in 2024. The first one for Windows 11 is that, of course, we will have one last moment, which means uh, this is going to happen in February or March. Uh, it is already, for the most part, done and tested and will probably have maybe a few new more features coming up. So um, the next update to Windows 11, 23H2, will be Moment 5 in February or March with some new features and updates to the Copilot that will apparently be even better and have better performance. A little more integration also within the operating system. Now, the uh, interesting um, aspect of Windows 11 also is that when the new um, high-speed Snapdragon um, chips for ARM arrive, they will actually issue a version of Windows 11 that will be compatible with it, as there is a Windows 11 for ARM, but they will actually kind of release one version for ARM with the, um, the ARM chip the Snap, new Snapdragon ARM chip in June to manufacturers that will want to do ARM PCs. And it will be kind of a mix of Windows 11 and Windows 12 features, apparently, uh, as Windows 12 will also ship um, with uh, for the, the, the Snapdragon uh, chip. And the last dates that will be interesting will be October or November of next year. Actually, they're saying September, October, maybe even November, but that's around October, basically. That's when 24H2 will arrive with uh, Windows 11 and will focus on having a lot, apparently, a lot of new uh, AI features that are going to be implemented within the operating system. So this is apparently going to change the way Windows 11 actually works and does things. Um, there's, of course, not going to be um, a NPU requirement probably for now, but there's n some are saying that it's not impossible that Windows 11 24H2 might actually start integrating. You can update to 24H2 with the minimum requirements that are actually the ones right now. Yet, you might have a new recommended requirement, which would be for Windows 11 also, an NPU, a neural processing unit in your PC for some of the more advanced AI features that could be rolling out with it. So um, that's the kind of the time frame for Windows 11 in 2024, which is kind of interesting. And uh, we'll see how it changes and it does, you know, how, how many more operating system uh, or PC, sorry, uh, will have the market share for Windows 11. And that will be interesting to see throughout uh, 2024 also. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.